Hi guys! It's me, Carsey, and I'm back. And today is just a relaxing Wednesday. It's my day off. And so I've decided, okay, I'll make a quick video. And um, it's just about um, my likes and dislikes about Germany. So let's start talking about that. Okay, sige, tumayo na ako para at least. Ayan. So, what are the likes? First one is of course, napakaganda ng kanilang transportation system. If I'm just gonna be comparing this to the Philippines, ah, um, the transport system of Germany is very, for me, practical, very easy, and very modern. Because of, you can book, you can book trips online, all with their airplanes, trams, trains, bus, which is very useful if you would like to travel sa EU countries. And I am a fan of Flixbus, Flixbus, because you just have to like download the app and just, you know, order tickets. You can even cancel um, if you placed it wrong and just get a refund or voucher. And then, of course, the trams and trains. And since Germany are just, you know, beside sa mga iba't ibang countries ng Europe, napakadali. Like, yung 6 hours na biyahe natin, like, yung 4 hours kong biyahe to Baguio, eh, nasa Italy na ako. Alam nyo yun, nakapag-travel na ako sa ibang bansa. And napakadali lang, napakabilis. And what's best about that is napaka-on time talaga. Pag sinabi sa internet, let's say bus or tram lang, ha? 16.02, that means 4.02 p.m. nandiyan na yung train or yung bus. Magugulat ka na lang talaga. It's either mas maaga silang darating or on time. So, transport system is very good for me. And, yun nga, um, kunyari, pagsasakay ka ng tram dito, you have to be like, honesty system tayo dito, honesty system. Kasi, hindi, wala namang magwabantay sa'yo if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be buying eh, the ticket. Unless, pag may nag- dumating lang nang na nagko-control ng mga tickets at wala kang binili, magbabayad ka ng like 10 times or 6 times ng ticket na binili mo. And pangit na rep. Pangit yun guys. Huwag natin gawin. Which is, dito mo matalaga matututo na talaga ang discipline. Okay. Second that I like about Germany is the punctuality of the people of Deutschland. Like I said, if we have a meeting with a doctor, with someone, or even just a date, if they say 6 p.m., you have to be there at 6 p.m. And they will never fail you naman kasi, kasi they're always on time. So, let's say, um, may date ko siya ako last week. Tapos, sabi ko, or we, I ask him, okay, what time should we meet? Or, sabi niya, I can just fetch you, okay? 6 p.m., let's say 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Aba, wala pang ano, wala pang 6 p.m. One minute before 6 p.m. Nandun na talaga siya. So, parang nahiya ako. So, parang buti na lang, medyo praktisado na po tayo, nag-train na tayo ng Germany na maging maaga, ay nakapaganda naman po tayo. Nakapag-prepare naman po tayo sa date ng maaga-aga. And, which is a plus points para sa mga ating German boys, ba Kung makikipag-date ang mga German girls. Ganun din, vice versa, sa mga makikipag-date sa mga opposite sex nila or same sex na rin. Diba? So, on time talaga. Even the meetings, if they say like 2 hours lang magla-last, 2 hours. Like, in to connect with our work, yung Uber Gabi or endorsement, pag sinabing 6.15, aba, nakaupo na yan and magsistart talaga saktong 6.15. Pag na-experience yung medyo crazy moment, amazing moment, kasi talagang they start on time. Okay, syempre, ang third one ay yung benefits natin dito. Like, Everything is for shirt or almost everything is for shirt or what are insured. Like bilang nagtatrabaho dito sa Germany, I we are required to get our insurances and we have to pay them. And ang parang calculation mo kasi dito sa life expenses mo is parang talagang automatic kasama na yung insurances or yung mga bayarin natin. So hindi na siya parang magiging pabigat for us because if we're gonna be um, checking the expenses of our lives, parang automatic, naka-accept, naka-accept, I mean, naka, 
side na yung pang insurance. And what's good is nagbabayad tayo ng insurance and tax and ramdam naman natin talaga. Like for example, wag naman sana nagkasakit tayo kung pupunta tayo sa ospital at makakonfine man tayo doon, ibayad e nila yun. And sa so work, kung magkaroon tayo ng sakit at mag-file tayo ng sick leave, bayad din po ang trabaho natin, which is very good. So, parang ramdam mo talaga. Hindi tulad sa ibang bansa dyan, sa may bandang South East, charat. Hindi natin maramdaman eh. And, sige, fine. Yung iba naka-insured sa mga trabaho na may HMO, um, pero may limit lang siya, ba? Pero hindi man natin nagagamit lahat yun. Pero, pili lang, hindi lahat, kasi dito, private and public sector, nakakuha ng insurance. And of course, yung isa pa dyang libre is yung schooling nila, yung isa pang benefit is yung school is libre din talaga. Even the college, university is free. So, you don't have to worry about tuition fees. And when I tell my friends na, okay, kailangan ko bayaran yung tuition fee ng anak ko, it's like super question mark sa kanila. Why? Because nga, they're used to, you know, getting free education. It's just up to them if they want to study or just go straight work to work. Ayun, yun naman yung third ko. Fourth, wait lang, wala na ata akong mahisip. Shut up. Um, siguro yung fourth nila is traveling. Kasi nga, since ang Germany ay halos nasa gitna rin ng Europe at ang bansang ito at iba, iba't iba pang bansa ng EU ay they just, you know, sit together and di tulad sa Pilipinas na isolated talaga tayo. We always have to fly papunta sa mga ibang countries ng Asia and it will cost us. But, um, in Germany, since magkakatabi lang naman po yan and part sila ng EU, it's not really a problem going around Europe. With just the bus, a two-hour ride sa bus, like ako dito, nasa Switzerland na ako. One hour, nasa France na ako. And sometimes, um, hindi naman nila kailangan na tingnan yung passport, but of course, merong control din yan. May times na talagang titingnan nila yung passport and nade-deport yung mga nahuhuli. And the ticket prices are very affordable. So, even if you have, you know, one day off, you could go to the country that you like as long as you have the budget for it. But yun nga, napakadali. It's not very, you know, hindi siya hassle para mag-travel ka. Which is the one I really enjoy here too. So, that's my fourth. Okay. So, for my number five, huwag niyo pansin yun change outfit ko. So, for my number five is, of course, uh, their discipline and their love for nature. That's what I can say. Because, kapag nandito na kayo, you will really notice their, yung ugali nila na marunong talaga sila mag-follow ng instructions or rules. Just like sa simpleng pagkain sa restaurants, and after, ang rule kasi dyan is after kumain, kailangan itabi nila yung mga pinakainan nila for the next customer. So, wala ka talagang makikita may iwan na tray dyan, lalo na sa mga um, fast food restaurants. Although, may mga restaurants na hinahayaan ng iwan doon, which is allowed by the restaurant naman talaga. So, yun ang okay lang sa kanila. But, pero like, for example, fast food chains, ikaw ang magliligpit ng pinakainan mo dyan. And, uh, nasabi ko bakit nature lover? Because, um, since nagkakonek pa rin sa pa pagiging marunong nila sumunod sa instructions, they know how to segregate their, um, trash. Um, sa pamamagitan nun, kahit bottles, t old t-shirts, they know how to segregate. And siguro nakatulong na rin dun yung, yung pag-i-implement ang government. Nagkakaroon talaga meron silang trash bins for, for these stuff dito sa Pilipinas na, okay, kusan ka lang magtapon. Hindi rin kasi tayo talaga nabibigyan na, na provide ng mga, mga material para dyan. So, yun lang naman masasabi ko. Um, ayan, siguro, love for nature kasi taga mahilig din sila talaga mag ano. Nagtatapak nga sila dito pa lang pag summer. Naglalakad sila, nakapaa. Kasi nga, kasi nga, sabi nila, they want to feel the earth. Yun daw ang sabi nila. Sabi mo, ah, nasa H&M ako may nakapaa dun. Ang dumidumi ng paa. Pero kasi nga, she wants to feel the earth. So, yun lang naman. Discipline and the love for nature. What do I do not like? Tama ba English ko? What do I... Yung mga dislikes ko. Number one. Number one would be... Yeah, the food, actually. Um, 
I find them very plain and parang wala masyadong lasa. And either parang sausage, yung mga parang ang dry ng food tinapay, which I can eat naman sa kahit anong cuisine. Parang I find it boring. Peace to Germans, pero parang yung cuisine ng Germany yung parang least like ko sa lahat ng cuisine. Kaya nung pag nandito ako, I still order like most of the time I, I make, I, I order Asian food or American or Italian. Or kapag may oras po tayo, nag-aaral po tayo magluto ng Filipino food. Yun, yung food nila. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Second one that I do not like would probably yung pagiging masyadong seryoso ng most of the Germans. Parang minsan, kahit two years na ako dito, hindi ko pa rin alam kung paano sila papatawanin or yung humor nila. Parang they find it very serious talaga. And um, unless talagang close mo yung friends mo, talagang okay naman. They are... Sige, tatawas sila. Kaya lang parang yung humor nila sa sarili nila, parang minsan hindi ko magets Iba talaga malayo sa Pilipinas. So, parang onting salita lang natin sa Pilipinas, parang gets na natin isa't isa, tas mababaw lang talaga yung kalikayan natin. And, yun lang naman. Pero hindi naman siya ganong kashlim, hindi naman siya ganong kalala. Parang yun lang siguro yung naisip ko kasi wala akong masyadong sigurong maisip. Pero yun nga, masyadong mas seryoso. Okay, third third one na hindi ko masyado nagugustuhan, okay, na I think siguro hindi ko lang nakasanayan, is siguro, like for example, since I am a nurse working dito sa Germany, makikita mo talaga yung difference when it comes to um, relatives. Like sa atin sa Pilipinas, kapag merong may sakit, talagang bibisitahin natin siya. Minsan isang buong barangay pa ng barkada natin bibisita. And talagang sasamahan siya. And at least meron sa atin na one person na magsistay overnight with us. Except sa ICU ha. Na talagang aalagaan tayo. But here, you will really feel and see the parang um, unabhengigkeit or yung pagiging independent ng mga tao dito. To the point na pag may sakit, even yung mga patient ko na matatanda, I seldom see relatives coming or visiting. Like siguro once a week lang and then they sleep alone in their room. So parang mas more, nag-ask kasi ako kung bakit ganun, mas more ano sila, focused sila sa sa work nila and personal family. Kunyari, may family na ako. Tapos yung nanay ko nasa hospital. Minsan ko lang talaga siya bibisit yan. Ganun yung ano nila. Parang, I don't know. Kasi may pamilya ako, may trabaho ako. Pero siguro kung nasa Pilipinas siya, parang araw-araw siguro binibisita natin yung magulang natin or yung kusin namang relative natin may sakit. O kaya talagang may mag-aassign sa family na magsistay kasama yung yung may sakit na yon So, medyo pag nakikita ko, kaya nakikita ko yung mga matatanda dito talagang kahit 98 years old, uugot-ugot talagang kakay. Pipilitin nilang tumayo mag-isa. Kahit mag-offer ka ng help, sabi nila, no, I can do this. Which is parang in a way nice, but in a way, if you're gonna be looking the reason behind it, ang sad lang. Yun lang naman para sa akin. Siguro sa yung iba sa inyo, you find that very nice, but for me, not so much. Fourth one is siguro yung dating nila dito is very uncommon talaga. Like, up to now, I'm still, you know, learning the dating here in Germany. Hindi naman siya relevant masyado sa nursing, pero, eh, isa to sa mga hindi ko nga masyado magets. So, dating is, nalaman ko na if you're dating a German guy, hindi tayo, hindi uso mga pakipakipot dito na parang, ay, hihintayin ko muna siya sa akin mag-ask or lumapit. Kasi more sa lalaki sa kanila, more on, ang, ang boys pa palang nag expect sa babae na mag-first move. And when it comes to dating guys and girls, do not expect your man to be paying for your bills because they are very independent. They expect you to share the bill with them, which is very good because I know that already and I'm not naman the person na ah, dapat libre niya ako. Ah. So, it's better to, it's a good sign too in a way, but Ang, ang ayaw ko lang doon is not the sharing of bills, okay? Ang ayaw ko lang doon is parang hindi ko talaga mabasa yung minsan yung lalaki na I don't know if is he into me or what not, should I make the move? Parang imbe, siguro kasi sa nakasanayan natin na babae talaga usually naghihintay ng decision or parang magtatanong yung guy sa atin or yung guy nagpa-pursue talaga. It's so hard to, you know, to assess things. So, in this country, you have to be mature enough 
to know how you really feel and tell that to that person. Kasi naman, Kar, she didn't sabihin mo na kasi. <laughs> Change topic na masyado gusto is parang wala masyadong magawa dito. Uh, actually, um, out, except for, you know, traveling, if you have right ta free time here, because every Sunday, almost everything is closed except for restaurants, sige. Uh, on your weekdays, it's either you just go to the city shop, um, do and go to fields, lakes, mag-enjoy sa araw, go out to drink coffee, go out to eat cake, upo sa ganyan, tambay sa ganyan. More on ganun sila dito. Unlike parang sa Pilipinas, parang ang dami natin magawa. May mga karaoke spots tayo where we can drink and eat at the same time because here, most of the drinking areas, like after 10 o'clock, hindi ka na makaka-order ng food. It's all inuman. Wala nang parang pulutan or anything. If you want to eat after 10 p.m., wala kang makikita masyadong restaurants na nag, nag, just, nag na nagsiserve ng food na like totoong food. Unlike sa atin, meron. Wala rin masyado talagang 24-hour shops or sari-sari stores or convenience stores na kung saan pagkatapos mo siguro in the middle of the night, pagkatapos nyo mag-inuman ng friends nyo, gusto nyo bumili ng something dyan na food, makakain. Walang ganon. And um, masaya na sila sa pag-upo-upo dyan sa fields, sa mga green fields. Ma ma maarawan sila, masaya na sila ng ganyan makapagkapilakad-lakad dyan sa ganyan, Schlossberg, Tower, kung saan pa parehas, pag ulit nature, nature, diba? I'm not against it, but I find it very boring. If you, one of the people you know na nakatira na sa Germany ng matagal, but since they, siguro dito sila talaga nasanay, kaya pag pumupunta sila ng Asia, or siguro America, America or what not, medyo mag-a-amaze din sila doon, kasi ang daming activities. Like, sa atin, sa Pilipinas, sobrang dami nating pwedeng adding other things na gawin. ba? Sa mga maliliit lang na areas na ganyan, may mga pwedeng gawin sa malls, ang daming activity sa malls, hindi lang puro shop. Yung mga sinehan natin, umabot hanggang gabi, ang daming choices, ang daming kainan sa, sa mga sinehan. Dito, parang talagang popcorn, tacos, ganyan lang. Simple lang. Actually, simple lang talaga din ang buhay dito. Yan ang narealize ko. And, um, yun lang naman ay para sa akin. Minsan boarding. So, yun na nga kayong 5 likes and 5 dislikes about Germany. I think, yun lang naman yung parang nasa top list ng nasa isip ko. Pero, I think, marami pang iba na akong naisip. But, that's enough for now. And, salamat po sa pagpapanood. Maybe next week, I'll discuss something ser more serious like insurance insurance tax, kung kaya ko siyang explain, i-research ko muna na maayos. And, ayun, thank you so much for watching the video. Please, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like it, subscribe to it. Thank you so much for support. And, if not, just follow me on Instagram. I have to go. Ciao! Hi, Carsi here. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.